Hello there, and welcome to another edition of One Toy, Lots of Language. But this one is not really a toy. This is something that you get every single week in your mailbox. You might throw it away. You might actually keep it and use it. But grocery ads. These are perfect for working on vocabulary with little ones. And so how I wanted to share with you is things that you can do with them um, so get out your scissors, get out your glue, construction paper, all that kind of fun stuff, and let's go to town. So first of all, if you have a little one, which this video is targeted towards those toddlers and preschoolers, you may have to help them, guide them through the activity, um, because it might be a little bit overwhelming to look at a page and try to find um, apples or strawberries or things like that. So what I want you to do is guide your child through it, say, oh, can you find the apples? I see apples. Can you find the apples? And if, give them a few seconds. Um, wait time is a big thing here because you want to let them try to be successful first. And then um, if they're not, then you want to swoop in and guide them to the right one. If you've given them some time, they don't get it, then go, okay, let's see. Is this an apple? And give them a little bit of time to respond yes or no. Is this an apple? Wait time. How about, is this the apple? And if they say yes, go, yes, that is the apple. We see the apple. Then you can cut it out. You can proceed this way. I would stick, since you're, since you're dealing with toddlers and preschoolers, I would stick to very basic foods. Don't go crazy and, you know, ask for the bacon or the ham. Unless your kiddos know what bacon is and they've seen the package, and the particular package that you have at home is in the ad, because you're also working on a little bit of print awareness for some of those slightly older preschoolers. That's what I would do. Um, you could also do cake, cookies, things like that. Just kind of go through your grocery ad beforehand. Jot down four or five things that the kiddos can find. If you're feeling really crazy, jot down maybe 10 um, it's just going to depend on what your child is able to handle as far as attention span, vocabulary, what they already know, and um, what they can already express. So then what you can do is you can go through, you can cut them out, talk about them as they're, as they're cutting them out. If you've got a preschooler, you might want to try and let them cut things out. If you've got a toddler, you might not want to do that. Um, it just kind of depends on your child and how things are going to work. But cut them out, get a big piece of construction paper, and glue them all on there. And as you glue them on all on there, you're going to go, oh, we cut out apples. Can you find the apples? And let them pick from the things that you've already cut out. If they're struggling with too many um, options, then go ahead and pull the apples and maybe the bananas down and say, hey, can you find the apples? Let's find the apples. And just keep using those words so that they know and they are realizing that apples are belonging to that picture. The label apples is belonging to that picture. If they don't find it, go, oh, I found the apples. They're right there. Can you find the apples? So you're also modeling. If you only ask the questions, you're constantly testing, and a child that is not able to find those things on their own is not going to feel very successful, and they're not going to want to stick with it. So even as you're going through the ad and you say, oh, I found the raspberries. That is raspberries, yeah. I found the raspberries. Can you find the raspberries? And let your child point to the raspberries. You might even have to do hand over hand and go, hey, Johnny, I found the raspberries. Can you find the raspberries? Do your wait time. If they don't find it, take their hand and go, oh, look, you found the raspberries. That way they are following directions still. They are still identifying the fruit. Yes, you are helping them, but you are modeling what the answer needs to be. So that is my tip for using grocery ads with your preschooler or toddler. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you again next time. Bye.